What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today, we are going over the market as usual before we do get into the video guys let's smash that like button let's drop the sub comment down below all that good stuff before we do get into this video like comment subscribe we will do another giveaway we do giveaways every single day on stream and guys i'm thinking about doing a giveaway um seven days until christmas 100k a day if we get mad support we get mad subs if we had 13,000 subs, we're under 200 away. 13,000 subs in the next, if we gain two, or less than 200 subs in the next two weeks, we will do the giveaway. Also, I am buying and selling MT on Instagram and Twitter. If you guys need MT, hit me up. I'm fast, reliable, cheap. Instagram, Twitter, instantly, bro. It's down below in the description. And my old Twitter got hacked. That's my new Twitter, at your boy Bugs YT. And um, yeah, I pulled Dirk Dewitsky. All right, I pulled him on stream. I don't understand how I could pull so many pink diamonds. I literally don't understand. Um, the luck I've been having with MT gambling is it, it doesn't make any sense. But yo, we're gonna talk about the market. A lot of market talk questions lately. Like there's been a ton. There has been so many market talk questions, and I didn't make a market talk video, so I have to make one today. And I'm gonna go over everything. So let's go over to Man Tommy G. We'll start things off with the man Tommy G, the best investment ever. Um, so I think he's around like six ish K. All right, 5,200, then he's at the six K. It makes sense. So, very, very good investment every single time, bro. This Tommy G. I'm wearing a sweatshirt because it's so brick in New York, by the way. It's so brick, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. So, there it is. Pretty good price. I think sell them for 5,900. You're making at 2K per. Sell them. Um, Let's talk about some badges, because I noticed something about badges, bro. D3s goes up and down throughout the day. And, bro, one snipe filter that I've noticed that was actually doing good was, uh, what's it called? Dude, con Diamond Contracts was going crazy. I don't know why, but, yo, D3s is up a lot. Uh, let's see. D3s up to 18,500, so definitely up a little bit. It was around 15k this weekend. Bronze D3s is definitely a lot more expensive. Bronze and silver, definitely, definitely a lot more expensive. And honestly, if you wait till I believe Aaron Gordon comes out, man, he's gonna go up, it's gonna go up even more. So if you have bronze, uh, deep threes, man, honestly, bronze deep threes isn't even a bad sell right now. He's at 26,600. Um, definitely not a bad sell, pretty solid sell right now. Not gonna lie. And guys, I'm close to level 33, almost at bad eight. I've been grinding XP as well. Um, let's go over Manu Ginobili. Another question that I want to go over. Um, Manu Ginobili, man, Jamal Crawford did kind of ruin a filter, but let's go over Manu. So 73K, 72K, 70K. There's actually not a lot on the auction. So for Manu Ginobili, I say 65,000 and under. If you could get one with a shoe or a diamond contract, that's a good W. That's a big W. That's what I think. Um, right now, you should not sell him. Pretty much every other card that you have in your collection, you should get rid of because Friday, no one knows what's coming. In my opinion, I think something pretty big is coming. Not sure what. Um, but I think you should sell everything in your collection if you don't have MT, that is. I pretty much sold everything. I mean, I'll show you my collection. Only auctionable player I have right now is Giannis, I believe. I like Tyler Hurro, like cheaper cards. Um, I have no high tiers, guys. These are all like non-auctionable. Tommy G, whatever, he's cheap. Tyler Hurro's cheap. I just like using it once in a while. But uh, yeah, this is my, like I have a non-auctionable squad. I'll show you my free team. Um, pretty much, man, I, I'm literally, I'm just chilling out, man. I'm not going crazy. I'm not doing anything. I, I'm just selling all my cards. I have a good amount of MC. Um, I have a couple of investments that I should sell. Also got that Isaiah Thomas from a free pack. And um, I'm going to show you one snipe filter that is going to be pretty good. Seasons of Giving Pink Diamond. This snipe filter right here, definitely a good snipe filter, man. You There's there's so many options out here. We got Dirk. Walter Davis, Jason Richardson, the list goes on and on and on. Definitely try out this filter, bro. You never know what's going to pop up. Walter Davis for 100k. Uh, I kind of want to try. Yeah, I figured. But yeah, this is definitely a good snipe filter, man. If you get anybody on this filter, you're going to make at least 50k. So 50k profit of one filter. Pretty solid to me. If you, if it, if that pretty, that's pretty freaking good if you ask me, bro. Uh, another filter that's low key right now. 
make a decent amount of MT is Eddie Jones. He's going for around 130. So if you snipe him out, you could possibly make, I would say, around 20K, 10 to 20K in about four hours. So after he sells an auction for the bid, not a bad snipe filter. You just got to get him. The sniping, the sniping, sniping is tough sometimes, man. Everything you snipe, it does take some time, to be honest. All right, so let's look at someone. One of my subs was saying, bro, this filter works. I'm not confirming it, but he said he made lots of MT off this filter, and he said it's Ruby cheapest. So I want to try it out. I heard it's good. It makes a lot of sense. So I'm hearing for budget ballers, Ruby cheapest at around 1200 is very good, especially when new content comes out. To be honest, it does make sense. It's definitely worth a try because there is some rubies that go for three, two, four K. So uh, you never know, especially the older rubies. Some of those older rubies, people might rage quit and throw them up for cheap. And those older rubies are going for five to 10 K. So you never know what people could throw up. It's pretty interesting if you ask me. Uh, I'm pretty just gonna show you some snipe filters pretty much. I'm gonna go over to market, snipe filters, all that good stuff. But here's another filter, man. Cheapest diamond, oh, I forgot that they ruined it, but cheapest diamond around what 15 8k 10k cheapest diamond kind of got ruined cheapest amethyst is pretty good though not gonna lie cheapest amethyst is definitely a pretty good value look at that man ricky ruby at 4400 he was 1500 mt not too long ago guys like 1700 mt he's at the 4400 another investment that i liked and he's up a lot so yeah that amethyst filter might be good man this filter rose a lot the amethyst filter is back and uh, I say you put your filter to around 4,400 and just keep refreshing. This is also another good filter that should make you a lot of MT. But I'm hearing that Deep Threes is a very good filter. And here's another tip, man. Go through your badges in your collection. If you guys grind a lot like me, you have a lot of free packs. You pop packs a lot. These A lot of these badges, bro, are going for lots of MT. And you don't even realize it. Check the badges in your collection. Um, What's it called? I sold Silver Intimidator for um i believe i sold it for 19,000 mt silver badge 19,000 mt so <laughs> if you have intimidator in your collection make sure to check over your badges bro there's some badges that might be sl just literally sitting in your collection where you can make lots of mt like look at this i pulled the d3s earlier 20k i don't even know how so i pulled dirt i pulled fox and i pulled d3s in about 120k I'm literally going to make over 100k in packs. I got lucky. I know. I got lucky. Never pop packs. It's pure luck. I got scammed on packs the whole year. This week, I went crazy. It happens. But yo, trust me when I say this, man. If you want to snipe, go for the... Honestly, I think the best snipe filter right now is going to have the most action, the most MT making methods. It's by far as pink diamond season and giving. It's going to be the best one. By far. It's not even close. So honestly, looking at these snipe filters I showed you, pay attention to deep threes. The price goes up and down. And honestly, before one sec i want to show you this one one more time diamond contracts bro for some reason yesterday i went on this filter and i saw a bunch for around 11 to 12k i scooped them all up like right there i could sell it for a solid i don't know i could make a decent amount i could sell that right now for 17k and make 1k i don't know what's good but it sells instantly trust me when i say this man if you're getting it for 14k you're selling it for 17 that's a solid 1300 profit in a second man and it's been happening all day bro it's, it's i don't know what's good diamond contracts are honestly one of the most filled like the hottest filter out you get one for even cheaper so definitely try it out man as you can see there's a lot for around 17,000. look at that i can sell for 1700 after the reduction make around 1300 mt it's easy profit boys but yo honestly that's all we really got for the video hope you guys enjoyed any market talk questions let me know down below you know i'm gonna answer your con you know i'm gonna answer the questions just let me know down below and yo that's all we got for the vid hope you guys enjoyed have a good one peace what's up guys if you want cheap fast reliable mt make sure to be up on instagram and twitter i am buying and selling mt hit me up right now